What is this? Are we lagging? What, what's happening? What is going on? I mean... My internet is not bad. Right? It's... It's just... It's just Twitch acting strange. Why is this? Can't even see my own stream in Pathfinder subsection. What is this? Today, today's cursed. Today's cursed, I suppose. Not sure what's happening. Check OBS. Yeah, it is. Looks fine. Looks like I'm streaming. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just. I'll just. Continue for. Half an hour more. If this problem persists. I can. I don't know what to do. I might. I might just end the stream, I suppose. Let's see. You can you also see anyone else streaming on Pathfinder subsection? Still quite not sure. Uh Loki, Loki, not the time, please. Not yet. Not yet, please. Let's get back there. Oh shit, we just came out from here. Okay, it's weird, but yeah, we need to we need to work from here, I suppose. Let's see, I don't know. Okay, weird. I'm not sure what's happening with <laughs> Twitch right now, but something is wonky. Something is not right. Anyway. Um, should we check our kingdom? See what's going on there. This is this is our territory here, right? That's at these sixteen hours. God, sixteen hours. Yeah, let's see what's going on with the kingdom. Bands. What is this? Competing merchants, blah blah, and now I suppose just a you're out of crisis points 55% chance. Ah, just, just do it. Training, these guys are still okay. Okay. Mountains, yeah, obviously. So... There's nothing happening back at the kingdom, so yeah, let's just go and... Let's just go and explore. Barnhold. And... Dunsward to the east. Right? Yeah, we need to get back to here, I suppose. Before we do that, we need to... we need to rest. Shit. Yeah, let's just rest. Get our spells back. Red everywhere. Red everywhere. Even forbidden in some places. 
How did you achieve such recognition? Or is it a secret? It's no <laughs> secret, girl. First of all, it's a lot of hard work. Day and night, without closing your eyes. Tireless. Second of all, I'm just talented. <laughs> just love Jubilos bantering with Lindsay. God. <laughs> God. And again, still. Um, hold on. What? Still, there's this red exclamation mark that is going on. Yeah, she is. She's she's fangirling just so hard. Events related to the bald hilltop. Shit. Okay. Uh, for this one. Okay. Shit. 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 Should we? Yeah, we should probably go back to the capital. Right. Hmm. Okay, why not? Why not? Um Before I do that, there is one thing that I need to check. Not here. One thing I need to check. Why can I not still build teleportation circles in my towns? Time to get some rest, isn't it? Oh, come on, you've lost. My arcane is three already. I'm not sure. Let's check, Dagrod. Probably right. Amazing. You managed to save your barony from an invasion of monsters from the first world, but. We're not able to protect it from the attention of the first world's more powerful denizens. Believe it or not, but Arcadia has been chosen as the next location for the inconsequent debates. What's that? A curious phenomenon that isn't very well known. They say it's based on a bet made by the eldest. The rulers of the first world quite a long time ago. One day, one of them sent a delegation of Fey to Golarion. They announced where the competition will take place. Don't let the name fool you, it's anything but debate, but the contests begin as soon as they have enough participants. And the contest and the reward are different every time, although every time is a stretch. Only three such occasions are known over thousands of years. Anyway, it's happened again, and this time the reward is a chance to ask any question whatsoever of the host. The competition's mastermind, this creature, whoever it is, speaks on behalf of the eldest. We see we can't miss such a chance. <laughs> I don't tell me. Just think, we have an opportunity to ask a question of the host, the messenger of the self-appointed deities of the first world, and demand an answer. Gnomes originally ventured from the first world, lost their immortality because of it, and received our curse in exchange. Leeching. No one has discovered the reasons for it and no one can stave off its consequences, but if we manage to win the competition, do you know anything about these debates or we in the dark here? Never know what mad ideas the Fae might have cooked up. I only know one condition. Only teams of three are allowed to participate. Who do you think we should take as our third? I think we should take Lindsay. Something tells me if I are not likely to hold competitions in rope pulling or beer drinking. But the skills of a bard come in handy. Besides, we should give the young lady a chance to... Hmm, nice job, Jibalost. And participating, considering the fact involved, absolutely. Okay. can pass up such an opportunity. I agree to participate. Great! What is going on? Ah, now I remember what that's about, right? 
let's see. Yeah, let's talk more serious business. You did it! Another attack has been repelled and the barony is stronger than ever. Your grateful subjects even brought you a gift to honor this outstanding success. Fortunately, there was no, there was no time to rest. While everyone was preparing for the last attack, I was looking for a way to overcome the curse. I read some ancient books, locals, and then I had a word with our storyteller and we decided that, well, a bit better. I'm a keeper of stories, your grace, and I have amassed a respectable collection over my long life. There are, of course, stories of curses among them, ancient and dark, taken thousands of lives, destroyed kingdoms, and broke down. Well, our curse isn't exactly a real curse. We think some specific behind these attacks. Uh, someone specific. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a curse? Then what is it? This isn't the curse, then what could it be? I don't know yet, but that part doesn't matter. What's important is that we are finally making some real progress. Hmm, what's that progress? Arcane tree. I will check now. I would imagine that the person behind these attacks is someone harboring great evil against you and your barony. I would not be surprised if it's the same adversary who was behind the bloom. Yeah. I agree. After the last attack, I got the feeling that all bears and manticores came here as revenge for what we did to the ever blooming ever blooming flower. Feeding it. Swords and spells, of course, you can chop an ancient curse to bits, but I'm sure the villain behind the attacks would suffice. Lindsay, I think the Baroness is asking whether we yet know the name of our adversary. Alas, the answer to that question is no, at least for now. Personally, I believe it is the work of some Fae. I recognize their hand, so to speak. Yeah. Sooner or later the villain will show himself, or herself, Lindsay. Once he sleeps up, we can finally punish him for all the trouble he's caused. I didn't expect such vitriol from you, Lindsay. In any case, I would advise hearing this villain not before punishing him. I still have no idea why this unknown enemy is targeting us in particular. I'm sure we'll know our foe's face soon enough. We've repelled his attacks three times now. He must be reaching the limits of his patience. He won't get away from this forever. This is probably a deliberate thing, right? Repeating this he, 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 him, his. Yeah, Lindsay. Yeah, let's check. Check our kingdom stat. Arcane. Our arcane is sitting at two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Need to rank up probably Octavia, but there's no option to actually do that. At least not right now. Maybe we need to build more buildings with Arcane, I suppose. Right? Let's go inside. Let's check. Let's check what's going on. I have my mage tower. Let's see. Uh, arcane, arcane. Arlene's magical rarities shop. Um, library, why not? Yeah. Hold on, let me read it. Uh... This is the courthouse, culture, printing house, yeah, let's do this. And Nettis's library, shit! Can I even build this one here? Hold on. Listen to a shrine. Also, there's a library as well, shit! Can I just. Anyway, <laughs> okay, we have we have these, I suppose. Do 
Yeah, it does. Let me see. Let me see our other towns. Okay. Oh! What are these? Can be upgraded to the next level. Yeah, let's do that. And the others? We actually upgraded? Yeah, we did, I suppose. Let me see. Oh! We can only upgrade one. Not claimed yet. Yeah, we should. We should. This region has not yet been claimed. What do you mean? What do you mean? How do I actually have. Oh, I was checking about this place. Yeah, no, no, no. Just. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, so. Yeah, it is Silvershire that is on your town. The other town. What do we have here? Can I actually build a mage tower? Also hosts a teleportation circle that allows us to select clientele. Yeah. And I'm built in a separate slot. Yeah, we should. We should build this. Okay, we have so much gold now. How? How did this happen? Okay. Let's see. A separate slot. Yeah. Like. Oh no! I cannot. Hmm. What does what does this mean on a separate slot? How can I build this on a separate slot? How can I build this here? I mean, how? Oh. Like, nothing surrounding it? That is... Is it? I'm confused. Yeah, I probably won't... Let's go with this here. A mage's tower. Okay. What should we get next? This is library as well. Right? Okay. Build this here as well, why not? Okay, let's not spend so much hill points on just this. Hey. Okay. Hmm. Probably build one here, I suppose. But I cannot. Can I? Let's see. Yep. It it probably requires town. Probably. I cannot build it here. So yeah.
this guy down. Hmm. Check. Shit. Should be. Should we actually go there? Oh god. Oh shit, we need to sell these as well. Let's go. Square. Yeah, probably we should do that as well, Dark Rod. How do I get the Arcane Tree? I need to I need to train Octavia to do that, right? I might be wrong. We do it my way. Let's sell some stuff real fast. Crimson Consular. Okay. Just, just a plus two. Let's fire gemstone. And a storm. Mm -hmm. Dagger. And this. Wow. I mean, yeah, this was brought to us by Warask. Uh, some resistances and that's it hmm I should be wearing honest hmm I can get that bonus from those as well right How can I? I wanna. Shit. See, Lindsay here. How do I close? Yeah. Shit. Let's see. So many. Answers. It's just this. Oh, okay, we now we're now making making money. Okay, before before I before I actually forget, I need to talk to this lady and buy some scrolls. Hmm. Hey, what do we need? What do we need? Maybe one of these, right? Why not? Uh, remove blindness, obviously. Let's just take four of those. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some curse disease, why not? Paralysis, obviously, since they're just cheap. Sickness. Resurrection, shit, shit, shit. Diamond dust. How many of them we have? How do I check it? How do I check how many dust I have? Eight. Just 
Buy some. Yeah. Okay. Gain some gold, spend some gold. Are we done? Are we done here? Can we just go back to one hold? What do we what do we need? <laughs> Jansen! Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about sinning. Welcome back. What do I what do I actually need to do here? Before I move out. Oh sh shit, I was just checking these armor. Oh, it just grants me four max dexterity. Okay, okay. Let's just we do it my let's keep them here, I guess. Hey, <laughs> morning. <laughs> okay. Oh, air mesmerized probe. Yes. Okay. okay. Back to one hold, I suppose, right? But I'm still not sure if we need to wait for. Things to happen in the, the capital. Do I actually need to go and explore more at one hold? I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay, probably I will do that. And besides, I just like the exploration part of this game. Then back at the kingdom and oh, hold on, teleportation. Now, how do I do that? How do I actually teleport? I gotta let it build, yeah. Just like I did here. Hmm. Should I perhaps move from here or? Oh no, probably from here, I guess. It's, yeah. Explore from here. Okay, let's go. One day. God. Okay, we're doing it. Okay. Who is that? <clears throat> is that the skeletal trader again? Hello? Who are these guys? Are they from... Are they from... Amiri's tribe? Shit. Easy. Tattoos, leather and fur clothing, bone amulets at their belts. These are barbarians. Khaled's size, prob probably from neighboring Numeria. Or maybe lands even further north. They stop when they see you, hands on their weapons and frowns on their faces. Yeah? Who are you then? What do you want? Oh! Huh. Look at them. Look at, look at this chick. Can I? Can you see? She's just... What is that? Exhausted? Just doing what? Okay. Perception check. One of your people seems to be sick. Yeah, can I help? 
We don't need your help. Kelp starts. His voice scream is interrupted when one of the barbarian women begins coughing uncontrollably. We don't need it. Just shut up so I can... Um, I'm not gonna die for your pride as I'm sick. Oh, blue spit somewhere in the barrens. Don't worry, I don't know. I don't think it's catching. If you heal me, I'm paying gold. And no charge. That we're not beggars in the of charity. After you heal the woman's disease, she breathes in deeply, relishing the sensation. Well, thank you. It was a nasty thing. Let me tell you, won't let you take breath in or let as is out. I'm Nobar, Numeria, part of the Tiger Lord's tribe. Just minding our own business here, not looking to pick up a fight. We don't want any trouble and we're not after anyone. From Numeria? Tiger Lords travel around a lot. From the world wound. World wound, yeah. You guys. You guys will hear more about world wound with the upcoming Wrath of the Righteous game. Hell, these lands were once practically home to us. We used to clear them, damned Fey from the Narn marches on a regular basis. Well, now we're here again. That's normal life, you see. Never know where you'll find yourself tomorrow. You know anything about the situation at Warnhold? Warnhold? Never heard of it. Whatever is going on there, we got nothing to do with it. What are you searching for? No idea, really. Dugat. Yeah, ah, I remember this name. Dugat just said we should search for caves and ancient ruins, and he'd tell us if it was what we're looking for. If you ask me, we're just wasting our time here. But Chieftain knows best. Now those are what I call good assistants, dutiful, prompt and aware of their own intellectual <laughs> limitations. Why can't I ever get assistance like that? Maybe I should have pursued a career as a barbarian chieftain. Who's the cat? Old cleric. He's seen a lot, he knows a lot, and it seems like he's the only one who has any idea what the hell we're looking for out here. Here. You find anything interesting? I wish we've been searching the area for days now, but all we found was a cave with some grime faced half men. No ancient ruin, no treasures, not a damn thing. Hmm. Are you the only group of Numerians here? You're kidding? Of course not. Our main camp's over the hills there. If you're feeling gutsy, come pay us a visit. Tell me about Numeria. Uh, well, Numeria is a hard land made for hard people. Shit, I wish Amiri was here with us. Ages ago, stars rained from the sky and left a bunch of chunks of sky metal across the land. Some as small as your finger, others as big as a mountain. Lots of the chunks just sit still and do nothing and we find them for adamantine. Others make monsters or diseases or radiation and stuff like that. Technicology. Over spits that last word almost like, oh, I remember an adventure path from Paizo. It was actually uh, investigating what is going on there. I never had the chance to play actually. Mary is also the birthplace of countless beautiful songs and heroic legends. I mean, most of them end with someone getting beheaded, impaled, chopped to pieces or burned alive, but still, they're marvelous. Don't like technology? Why would I? Bad enough, it brings us so much trouble on its own, but it also attracts villains from all over Avistan, like flies to a steaming pile of shit. That technique league alone. Huh? Tell me about your tribe. The Tiger Lords are ancient and glorious tribe, one of the strongest in all Numeria. Used to own half the stolen lands ourselves, but that was a long time ago. Back in the time of Great Armag. Yeah. Here's another name. Will come up regularly soon, soonish after this chapter. But now that the spirit of Armag has been reborn, okay, bad news. To the body of our new chieftain, mark me, 
Word of our heroic deeds will spread across Golarion once again. Hey, safe travels, I guess. That's it? Anything else? Yeah. Hey, let's go. Come and check Kellet camp, I suppose. Cannot leave from here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Such and range type spells can be used to sneak attack if a target is flanked or flat footed. Why? Why did you do that all cat games? Why? I require rest. I'll rest soon. Oh! Oh! Something came up. Harem! Good for you. Thank you. Oh. What is this? Why the map? Hey. Thank you, you lost. My priest thinks you're advised, not yet. Okay, problem. Training, yeah, you're still training. Let's go. Hmm. Getting close. Where is that? Where's that camp? Oh shit, that is so far away. But yeah, we will eventually get there. Still. Let's still teleport, I guess. Let's go. Hmm. Moving on through the mountains. Oh, Precipice Trail. Rest, isn't it? Oh. Hey, just, just move north. Shit, another thing just came up. We will. Let's just check this place first. Hmm. Yeah. Shit, you just got encumbered. No, problem not like this. Shit. go let's just rest uh, no one for our special roles um yeah let's just check just explore Oh. Oh? Hello, oh, guys. Onwards. Who are you? Ah. Uh, it's dangerous to walk around here. Better turn back. Guards look to you with their hands on their weapons. Wait for an answer. I'm just a traveler looking for a safe place to spend the night. Um. Wipe the guards with 500. What's going on, guys? Traveler on the right, come and warm yourself by the fire. Just stay out of storage and don't expect a meal. What is going on? Are you bandits? Who are you? This is it? This is the cave? There's a torch there. Still burning. Olga, who are you? Hmm. Olga. Oop. Is she a is she a half orc? Yeah. 
Love it. Half orc woman sits by the fire. Her clothes are made of leather and fur, matching the rest of the barbarians. She frowns as she slides her finger along. Map. Through the drone on a crumpled sheet of paper. She lifts her gaze. She notices you, her huh, guests. Who are you? Friend, take a seat by the fire and let's talk. I'm Bolga from the Tiger Lord's tribe. I lead this group. Chieftain? Me, no, no. Just seasoned enough to lead a group. Our chieftain is Armag the Twice Born. He's back home in Numeria right now. What chieftain known for? Long ago, he was the greatest of the Numerian chieftains, and Gorum's chosen. Armag was so strong no mortal could strike him down, it was only when Farazma herself challenged him to battle that he fell. And only because of her divine power, but now, Armag shamed her and came back from the afterlife. Great Armag leads the Tiger Lords once more, now as Armag's the twice born. Soon, Word of our exploits will spread all over Avistan. I didn't know there were half orcs among the Numerian barbarians. Why wouldn't they be? And nearby, a lot can happen between two neighboring people. Yeah, that such a dumb question. You know anything about the situation at Warnhold? Warnhold, where's that? No idea. We've never been there. Tell me about Numerian. Land with adamantine in soil, and people have adamantine in their hearts. And since we have bugger all behind, beyond adamantine and courage, we just trade what we've got. Hey, for the invitation, I'll take you up on it. No point in denting our asses in this hole. We'll eat out soon, most like safe journey to you. And? What's that? Go check the other part of the cavern, I suppose. How about that? I think this this is it. What's going on here? Wait. It's just not my lucky day. Oh no! Lindsay! This is not the way it works. Natural one. How about you, Lindsay? Natural two. Thank you guys. Thank you, really. Incredible job. We do it my way. Incredible job. Do we actually need to spend the night here? Or maybe something to happen? Let's see. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, listen, welcome back. Chipolto? What? What is that? Stay the night. Yeah, why not? I guess. And? Spent the night here. And let's go back. Uh, why do I do that? Let's go back. Won't be halted. Hey, thank you, thank you guys for the uh, for the nice welcome. It's cavern, I guess. Let's go out. Let's go out. Uh, to the north? Yeah. Why not? Let's go. Sculpture of, Sculpture of Forgotten Heroes. Hmm, looks interesting. Let's go. Shit, something happened. Hmm. Oh, another, another cyclopean architecture, another dungeon. I hope. 
points. Shit. It's locked. God. Get me out. The Shit. Massive stone door blocks the entrance. It has no knobs, buttons, or other signs as to how to unlock it. Big pat patch of moss has been scraped off the door's hinges, hinting that it's been opened recently. For away. You can find any physical mechanisms. Magical means. Radiates a faint transmutation aura. Okay, let's force it. Nope. Nope. Okay, this place is huge. Look at it. Shit, we need to find a way. We, do it we need now. to find a way to get inside this tomb, dungeon, whatever it is. Listen, what are you what are you referring to? I don't understand. Who is Chipotle? What is what is that? Okay, let's go back. Oh, this leads here and this leads Wow, so many options. Probably go to the Queen Tower. Not Pharaohs. Check. Check. Let's go and explore. Ruins of the tower loomed over the surrounding plains. A tombstone so old that time had worn away the epitaph. As well, the language is that it had been written in. Each crumbling step of the giant stairway was as tall as a grown man's chest. And the huge portal where the door once stood was wide enough for our entire party to walk abreast through. We decided to climb the tower. Yeah, please. And we just... It was hard to imagine how tall the building must have been before crumbling under its own weight. It's possible that even the owners would have towered above us had they still been around. Probably a cyclopean architecture as well. Even so, by using the cracks and pits in the stone wall, an experienced climber would likely be able to scale the tower. Ekundaya wasn't in top form that day. Yeah, he was not. Once we made sure he was alright, we decided to... Climb it once more. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Just climb it until we succeed. Yeah. There the walls had deteriorated even further. Covered with engravings, barely visible symbols of some ancient language. After catching his breath, he decided to climb further. Climbing higher, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. At last, he reached the top. An uneven stub was all that was left. The spire that once must have reached to the lower clouds. Unless there was no treasure to be found here, unless you were willing to count the magnificent view of the surrounding area. A fire flickered in a distance. Someone had set up camp there. Finding out he had been he had seen enough, Ekondaya carefully descended. After that, we decided to away, I guess. Not pharaohs. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. And let me turn this on. And um, shit, another storm. God. <laughs> How big is this map? Not that big, I suppose. Looks like this horse fell. 
trying to climb the rock. So I've been terrified to damn such a thing. Shit. Something's something's coming up. Something's coming up. Something's coming up. What is this? Deep furrows marred the grass in the areas as if a huge plow had been put to work here. I don't like it. Like it. Perception check. Please don't fuck this up, guys. Onwards. I've completed my task. There's a deep hole in the ground made recently. At the bottom you can see a pile of bloody rags that look like the remnants of some barbarian clothes. Hmm. Okay. What's going on? Oh, we can... Oh, shit. Ah, let's read it. The horse died from a neatly slit throat, probably made with a sharp blade, but its body is also covered deep wounds that resemble huge bite marks. Combined with the furrows on the ground leads you to one conclusion. You've entered a bullet's hunting grounds. The underground monster must still be somewhere nearby. Shit. Hmm. Barbarian seems to have died from massive blood loss. Horrible wounds over his body, though his hand is still clutching a knife. Inscription on the stone is made, uh, but X says, Nothing is no help. Grass betrays, stay with me, better die than become food for something. Durance. Oh shit. Is that a physical might plus four? Hmm. Yeah. Take it. Thank you. Certain constitution, we should probably give this to. Oh shit. Lindsay, you have. Oh, this guy. How about you, Ekondayo? What do you wear? It's the. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, and check, check the. Up on the gas. We need to the shaken. Second condition. Plus three. Hmm. Yeah, let's just change this. This. You. See how that that's the right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but where's the blood? Is it? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Hello! God! God! Let me see. Um. Look! Uh, uh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Low will save. Uh, can I check its abilities? Because we couldn't probably make our arcana or whatever that check is. Oh god. And this guy is attacking next. Shit, is that. We didn't buff, obviously. So. Yeah, let's just wait for this guy to come to us. I don't want him to make all of his attacks. Oh! Ah, oh, Lindsay! God. Wow. Okay, if the if that was a critical hit, Lindsay was gone. Okay, since that is out of the way, since that is out of the way, 
<laughs> Let's go. Let's just wait for Lindsay to, yeah, give us that sweet, sweet tune. And stay the, stay the fuck out of there. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Or... It's the good hope and then a haste with Isolde, I suppose, yeah. Let's do that. I'm out of, I'm out of this guy's range, right? Probably. Hopefully. And cast safely. Yeah, let's just wait for Isolde. Same here. Good shit. Hey. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, Ikundai. Oh god. This <laughs> this guy just destroyed this bullet. Oh let's let's check its hot maneuver. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That might happen. That. Would we actually see it's EC 38? Wow. Wow. Come on. Six attacks. Come on. Oh no. Hey. Valerie, where the hell are you? you cannot. You cannot come here. Come. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Nope, not that. Who's playing? Oh no, it is. Actually. Yeah, let's just go with the dazzling display and let's see. Let's see. Probably not gonna work. Because I rolled the one. God, Valerie! Anyway. Just gonna close her. Okay. Let's go. We be lost. Let's go. It is time for you to shine. Uh, just kill this dude. Please. Thank you. It is already down. God, I just love Jubilost horse bombs. Let us not hesitate. Anything is possible. Yeah. Yes. That was weird. We didn't buff. Ah, uh, mighty fists again. I lead. You follow. That was it, I guess. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Let's go up. Soul eaters. Yeah, that was ouch, right, Jensen? So, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, this is the way. Barbarian camp. Let's see, let's see what is going on here. Uh, hello, we come in peace. Nobody is here, okay. Shit. Low grounds among the hills, some Numerian barbarians had set up camp. While obviously set up recently as a place of rest, it was thoroughly constructed. Truly constructed, okay, not thoroughly. Along with this stake palisade, Indians had reinforced their camp with a deep moat. Spotting the body of some unlucky thief at the bottom, it seemed they made a good call. Guarding the entrance was our old acquaintance, Nobar, and whose group we met in the hills previously. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Pronano. There was this original adventure path from Paizo as well, right? I can't remember the name of it. Against giants, against something, something. Yeah, thank thank you for thank you for dropping by, Jensen. Good night, I suppose. Right? <laughs> yeah. Catch you later. Have a good one. Have a good weekend if you cannot catch each other then. Right, have a good weekend. Ah, uh, we were led to a man named Dugat. Yeah, this guy. A middle-aged Khaled with a gorgeous mane. Once carcoil black, now salt and pepper, as well as bronze skin, hardened by sun, wind and time to the point that it almost looked like oak bark. Speaking with assertive tones, he invited us to dine with the Tiger Lords, that was the name of their tribe, and spent the night in their camp. Any business we might have with the tribe, he said, could be discussed in the morning. As everyone was rested and refreshed. Hey, why not? Sorry about the mic. Not wanting to offend the barbarians. Who wouldn't? And then the hospitable, we accepted the invitation within minutes. We were seated by the bonfire with goblets in our hands. As guests, our goblets were wrought of skillfully decorated silver with intricate carvings depicting scenes of battle. Be on guard, Jubilus whispered. Baroness's ear. Savages can be extremely touchy. Follow my example, and you may avoid offending them. Shit. And an offended Numerian is a bloodthirsty Numerian. The cupbearer filled everyone's goblets with wine. When Dugat raised his cup, officially starting the feast, the Baroness. Uh. followed his example. Let's see what Giblos is about. Iron Gods, probably, probably that. To my utter surprise, our gnome friend spilled his wine on the ground and the Baroness followed his example. Shit, what is going on? I thought the Numerians would be enraged, but they all... It was apparently a barbarian tradition. Okay. Okay. Nice note. Nice to have Jibalos with us with his knowledge of what is going on. God. Main course, unsurprisingly, was meat. While hunting in the hills, the Numerians had killed a deer and two wild boars, all now roasting over an open fire. As the tribe's guests, we were offered the best pieces. Fierce in battle. The Numerians were equally fierce at the table. They frantically tore the meat apart with knives, bare hands, and teeth, attacking the souls of their worst enemies rather than eating roast venison. The one camp inhabitant did not join it in there. Oh, who's this mysterious lady? So quiet and still at first, I didn't realize she was a living being at all. Baroness? Did I notice her? Just decided to ignore her. Ask the Tiger Lords who she was, yeah. Glancing cautiously between Dugat and the woman, one Numerian explained that the woman was one of the defaced sisters. Half priestess, half wizard. While they may travel along with the Numerians, they never ate at the same table. Judging by the tones the barbarians used when speaking of the woman, it was easy to tell that none of them held any warm feelings toward these defaced sisters. Wow. After everyone had eaten their fill, it was time for entertainment. Barbarians began singing a drolling song in their guttural language, known as Halet. Later, one of the Numerians explained that it was a ballad about a brother and a sister who defeated a huge metal spider. Ah, now I want to play that AP, right? Wow. The song that followed was a comedic piece about the adventures of a stupid werewolf. Marians all sang it together. It was clear that each of them knew what knew that one by heart. Almost everybody clapped to the rhythm, though some thumped their knife handles on their shields and a half-orc acquaintance Polka accompanied the song on a wargun. 
Once the song was over, Dugat appealed to his guests, asked to surprise our hosts, where they decided our best choice would be. Uh. Oh no. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Stag Lord. Let's talk about Stag Lord, I guess. Is this the, the only achievement that we can talk about? Why not? Our tale of battle and heroic deeds was just what the barbarians were looking for. They listened to God. Oh, okay, I need to stop here because that tale, that tale of us killing the stag lord was just a series of stupid things happening at once. And all of a sudden, just a random nameless bandit who just turned against stag lord Killed killed the stag lord with a crossbow bolt. That was it. That was the heroics. That was our epic ending to stag lord's reign. We didn't even kill him. Some random dude killed him. Finally, the drinking and singing came to an end. Only bones remained from the feast, and the bonfire had burned down to ash. Satisfied, the Numerians retired to their tents. Okay, okay. Next morning. I beg you, I haven't seen my sisters for several days. Okay. In trouble. Yes. As you approach the barbarian leader, you can help but overhear part of his conversation with a woman you recognize from the feast before. Her face remains hidden and she sounds extremely worried. I beg you, I haven't seen my sisters. Hmm. This whole land is nothing but trouble. Mm. You want me to risk my life and the lives of my people to do your dirty work? Go ahead, ask Armag to give the order. Oh, but Armag stayed back in Numeria, which means I am the one making the decisions here. Oh, so harsh. What is going on between you two? But what about my sisters? Something terrible could happen to them. Hmm. You sisters insisted on this expedition. So it's your price to pay. With your blood, not ours. Oh. Something terrible could happen, you say? It is too late for that. We already lost good men on this pointless journey to nowhere. Whatever Armag needs, it's not here. And it wasn't here from the start. But you didn't come here for him, did you? You came for your own reasons. You want some magic toy that once belonged to the ancient Cyclops. Yeah, ancient Cyclops. For that. Wow. Wow. He might. He might be right. To God. This conversation is over. You want help? Hmm. Why not ask our guests to help you? If you can afford their rates, that is. As for me, my single remaining goal is to get my people home alive. And well, and as soon as possible. Hmm. Hmm. Good morning. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? Introductions are necessary, Baroness. I know who you are. Let's discuss who we can be useful how we can be useful to one another. You know me. How do you think? We keep an eye on everything that happens in the region. Mm -hmm. It's smart to know our potential employers and our potential enemies. Hmm. Uh, Who's that woman? Wish I knew who these witches are and where they came from. Our chieftain. The great Armag, the spirits bless him, trusts them as if they were holy oracles. He sent us with them to these dead hills, and none but the sisters and the chieftain himself know why. Who am I to confront the chieftain? So now we wander these lands, chasing the unknown. Yeah. So... So the thing that you're just searching for, could it actually be related to what happened Varno, on hold? Huh? 
Isn't that the village Megar Varn got from the Ristovic Sword Lords? I know Varn. He's not the best fighter, but not the worst. As for what happened there, I wouldn't know. So, yeah. How can we be useful to each other? What do you say? Oh. Oh. I'm afraid we can't. At mm. least not yet. I'd be happy to take a new job, but our chieftain's orders were strict. Search the location and come back with a report. Mm. But if you could help us here, say, by finding whatever these witch sisters are looking for, or maybe just making them disappear wow mark my word baroness the tiger lords never forget those who help them really so yeah there's this double entendre there right so they do not also forget who opposed them so yeah how did you manage to get so far None of your business actually shit but just to reassure you, we weren't sneaking into your lands without permission, I'll answer. It was magic. What? The sisters opened some strange tunnel oh. and we used it to get here from Numeria. Gorum witnessed my words. I'm no coward, but I'd rather march for a month through all the river kingdoms then use that damned tunnel again. It was hmm? strange. Wrong. Just like <laughs> those witches themselves. Yeah, this is this is some uh Wheel of Time vibes going on here as well. Yeah, those I'm I'm not gonna give spoilers, but the this premise is just terribly Terribly similar. So what are you actually looking for here? I wish I knew. The sisters are looking for something, but they won't tell anyone what it is. I guess it's some antique that used to belong to the Cyclops. Some magic trinket or something. As for me, the only thing I'm looking for is a good reason to quit this nonsense and return to Numeria as soon as possible. Yeah. Is you this should. how you serve your liege? What was that, Valerie? Out of nowhere, what is that? Don't confuse our chieftains with your kings. Knight. What was that? It's the chieftain who swears an oath to the tribe, not the other way around. Please. I was one of the tribe's elders. If we did, oh, do you think we'd still be here now? The only <laughs> thing to be found in these hills is one's own death. A group of my men entered a cave that turned out to be a Spriggan den. They mm -hmm. barely survived the encounter. Also, we found the ruins of some old tower, ancient as the world itself and useless as this expedition. There is nothing to be found here, except, like I said, for one's own death. Yeah. How about... Ask away, why not? I uh... don't promise I'll answer, though. How about <laughs> yourself? <laughs> he just laughed. I'm Dugath, son of Gordir and Harith Three Fingers from the Tiger Lord's tribe. My entire life, I've served Gorum, first on the battlefield, sword in my hand, and later with prayer as well. Mm -hmm. I've fought in battles all across the River Kingdoms. Good for you. In Yoveria, Gold, Ustalev. My price is high, my hand is steady, and my sword is deadly. Wow. Ah, oh, confidence. Our Lord in Iron doesn't like empty talk. He's the god of those who act instead of chatter. 
Yeah. This psalm blesses every sword ever crafted, and wherever at least two men meet in battle, he is there with them. Even orcs worship the god of battle, and not only that, they imagine he's an orc, too. Mm, it's all nonsense, of course, but there may be a grain of truth to it. For anyone can aspire to be like him. A human, an orc, and even an elf. Anyone who grips his iron to make his enemy bleed. About your there tribe. Are many tribes in Omeria. Each does its best to survive. The black horses sell adamantine. The blood pikes rob caravans, and their white scars lick the boots of the Technic League. As for us, the Tiger Lords, we are mercenaries and the best ones in this part of Avistan. Remember this, Baroness. If you keep your throne long enough, we'll meet again wow. sooner or later, fighting side by side. Or wow. Who knows? Oh, do that. Careful there. Careful there, my friend. Yeah, tell us about our mug. He's a strong fighter, brave one. He says he's Armag, an incarnation of a hero from the old times. Just don't ask if I believe it. Oh, Armag is smart. Don't? He knows how to do business. If he'd only pay less attention to what those witches whisper, he'd be a perfect chieftain. Hmm. Eons ago, stars rained down on Omeria. Mm -hmm. Pieces of metal. Both dead and living ones fell from the sky. Since then, metal monsters roam those lands, and the grounds hold a wealth of adamantine, among other valuable things. Weaklings don't mm -hmm. survive there. As for us, Numerian Kelids, we grew up on that land. We drank its poisoned waters and breathed its toxic air. Metals from the depths infused our bones and muscles. Wow. No one can beat us. If there were anyone capable of bringing us down, it would be ourselves. Wow. These guys. Numerian humor. For those who find Gallo's humor too cheerful. Yeah, what they know about Cyclops is here. Tombs, their dungeons. Much. Long ago, these lands were part of their empire. They were a great people back then. Used unbelievable magic and possessed treasures beyond count. Ages passed and their empire crumbled into dust. Cyclops became wild and forgot all about what they once used to be but the ruins yes the ruins remember everything mm -hmm. indeed they remember much if only they were more eager to share okay that's that's all You're i suppose welcome. right yeah so what's relic let's check that quest those troublesome sisters won't tell us what they're looking for in Cyclops ruins, then we'll just have to find it ourselves. We know where the other priestesses went, and we have to follow them. Do we actually know? Let's talk to this defaced sister as well. By the way, um, I really, really like that voice acting. Wish most of these NPCs just came with that voice acting as well. You, like our here. Guest. The Baroness, am I right? I'm sorry you witnessed that unpleasant scene. If I may ask, what is your name? Isolde. Oh! It's wing and flies away. Oh shit. Nice to meet you, Baroness. I have no name. 
I've rejected it to serve benevolent powers. Not the greatest sacrifice of those we're sometimes called to make. You may call me Defaced Sister. Okay. Who are you? I am one of those who call themselves the Defaced Sisters. We've rejected our names and our faces in service to benevolent spirits. I'm sorry that I cannot reveal our true destiny to you yet. Hmm. But believe me when I say our mission is extremely important. Not just for us, not just for the tribe, but for the entire world. Really? Uh, Maria. These are enigmatic lands. Stars rain from the sky. Soil bleeds fire and gives birth to metal instead of grass. These are lands of mysteries and nightmares. But they're destined to become the salvation of us all. For that is where great Armag lived, died, and rose again. And he will bring redemption for us all. Strange. That is a strange myth. Yeah, tell me about Armag. He's a man of great destiny. The gods themselves tried to lay him low, but he came back. Defied death itself, as was foretold, for that was his fate. He's destined to save many, many lives, but at a terrible cost to himself. I would never wish a fate like that on you, Baroness. I would never wish a fate like that on anyone. Okay. There are many songs about Armog, not all of them Numerian. Some see his story as an inspiration, others as a warning against the dangers of hubris. But I've never heard about hmm. any prophecy. Yeah. So is this related to what you're looking for here? It is not yet time to answer this question. We are searching for ancient ruins, the remains of structures built by the previous holders of these strange lands. That is all I can tell you for now. I understand that you want to know more, but have no doubt you will in time. Okay. Such wise, enlightened words. People who talk like this are usually trying to swindle you out of your purse. Oh, Jubilos. Yeah, but Jubilos is right. You speak in riddles. Don't be wary of riddles. Those wise enough to solve them eventually learn much more than those who always seek straight answers. So, what were you do get arguing about? Where are the rest of your sisters? My sisters. They each went out on their own quests. And never returned. Not one of the three. I can understand, Duca. He doesn't trust us. But by refusing to help my sisters and me, he puts himself, his people, countless innocent souls in grave danger. If only I could soften his impertinent heart. Hmm. How is this possible? Doesn't this army know any kind of order or discipline? How do they manage to even fight in such chaos? Okay. Chill, Valerie, chill. Okay, so you have any idea where your sisters you might be? I can provide you some direction. Hey, okay, thank you. One of my sisters went to the sepulchre of forgotten heroes. Another okay. went looking for the forsaken mound. And the third was going to visit the ruins of the city of the hollow eyes. I won't lie, these places are all very dangerous. But searching for lost truth always involves danger. Hey, nice. So, yeah. What, what would I get in return? With the most valuable treasure of all, truth. Shut up. So yeah, who got mentioned about some teleportation through tunnels? What is going on there? Wise ones know many routes that are closed to the uninitiated. Will you be able to detect them? Will you dare to walk along them? Who knows? So, is this is this search is this in any way related to what happened to Varnhold? Dark tend to happen in that land. I can only guess to the fate of Varnhold. My three sisters know more. Help me find them, and hmm. you'll get your answers. If the spirits are kind, it will happen before it's too late. Okay then, okay. If in your travels you meet my sisters, please help them, and I will help you in return. Remember this word, Kahab. Kahab. That is what the previous inhabitants of these lands, the Cyclopses, called darkness they so worshipped. 
If a door shut and lockless bars your path, this word might be your key. Okay, now we get it. Now we get up to actually sorry. May kind spirits guide you in your travels. Yeah. Hopefully they will. Nice. Learned so many things. So many things. Visiting this camp. So what is this camp? That's it, yeah. Wow, okay, so it's coming to 6 p.m. We should probably end our stream here. Let's have a hard save. Right, okay, nice, nice. Okay, since since the announcement from Larian Studios that Baldur's Gate will be postponed one more week, it's gonna be two weeks. Um, until Baldur's Gate 3 hits, so we can make uh, maybe good progress in Chapter 3. I'm not, I'm not promising that we could finish Chapter 3 in that time because there are some huge dungeons to explore. But I'm willing to go there, right? So I might even actually stream weekend. Cannot promise, but yeah. But if I cannot, I will at least uh, stream uh, weekdays all of those five days I suppose yeah right so once again thank you guys thank you for joining tuning in uh, your comments for with your tips thank you for everything it wouldn't it wouldn't be as enjoyable and as fun as it is if it wasn't for you like i learned so many so many new things just by chatting with you so yeah it's it's an incredible experience for me i will say yeah so as always before leaving let's check what's going on with the uh streaming scene let's see streaming what I can actually drop by and say hi uh, someone just started new, I suppose. Right? Let's see, let's check what this streamer is about. Let's, why not? Yeah. Let's let's go and finish here, I suppose. Thank you again, guys. Try to catch you there. Oh, hey, let's go. Let's check what this stream is about. <laughs>